occasion, I impersonated a prison inspector and walked out the front door of the institution. <laughs> uh... Correctional officers protect society by guarding those that need to be locked up. On rare occasions, those inmates use their skills and cunning to escape. Correctional department authorities are prepared to address the usual escape attempts, smuggling of contraband, blackmail, and bribes. However, it's the use of fruit, yoga, and helicopters that they were never trained for. Today, we bring you the eight craziest international prison escapes of all time. These inmates really thought outside of the box. Let's begin. Number 8. Public Enemy Number 1. March 3, 1934. We must start with the man whose crimes earned him the infamous title Public Enemy Number 1 by the FBI. Gangster John Dillinger, who was both a bank robber and a seasoned fatal criminal, escaped jail twice. His initial escape was from a jail in Ohio with the help of eight of his friends. During his second capture, he was taken to Lake County Jail in Crown Point, where Lake County Jail officials described the prison as escape-proof. However, in what is now a famous tale, Dillinger escaped from the jail with a fake gun. There is still debate about what exactly the gun was made from and how the escape happened, but popular opinion is that he used a wooden gun painted black with shoe polish. Guards were fooled by the gun and allowed Dillinger to leave the prison. While on the run, he made the most of his time and got a few more robberies under his belt before being shot in a shootout with the FBI a few months later in July. Number 7. The Alcatraz Escape, June 11, 1962 In another extraordinary tale that has been popularized by a blockbuster film starring Clint Eastwood, three prisoners escaped Alcatraz. Alcatraz was a maximum security federal prison located on an island off the coast of San Francisco. Surrounded by water, it was deemed to be inescapable. That all changed on June 11, 1962, when Frank Lee Morris, John Anglin, and Clarence Anglin escaped by digging a tunnel through a concrete wall using a spoon. To buy time, they created paper mache dummies outfitted with hair from the prison's barber shop and laid the decoys in their beds. The prisoners then went into the water via a boat they had made from over 50 stolen raincoats. Their escape was not noticed by prison guards until the next morning. At that time, a search began, but ultimately the men were never heard from again. The FBI and Alcatraz jail officials assume to this date that the three men drowned in the water. If this theory is true, their bodies have never been discovered. There has been some speculation that the three men escaped and moved to Brazil. A letter was submitted to the police in 2013 claiming to be from John Anglin. It claimed that while all three successfully escaped, he was the only remaining one still alive at the age of 83. The FBI stated that fingerprint and DNA evidence was inconclusive and the authenticity of the letter could not be positively concluded. In 2016, a photo was revealed that allegedly showed the two brothers in Brazil 13 years after their disappearance. Authorities have not confirmed that this photo is, in fact, the escaped convicts. Number 6. Catch Me If You Can, April 1971 In another now-turned-Hollywood classic, the escape of Frank Abagnale has been heavily popularized. Frank was a notorious fraudster and imposter on who the movie Catch Me If You Can is based on. Frank started committing crimes as young as 15 and escaped prison twice, the first time while he was being deported to the U.S. Frank escaped off a British airplane at JFK. He was eventually recaptured in April 1971, at which point he made his more grandiose escape. In April 1971, Frank used his wits to trick the guards into aiding in his escape. When checking into the prison, the U.S. Marshal forgot Frank's detention commitment papers. At this time in the U.S., many prisons were being inspected by federal workers for civil rights issues. Frank seized the opportunity to manipulate the prison guards into believing he was an undercover inspector posing as a prisoner for a review. He spent weeks building up the story. He used an accomplice on the outside to further convince the guards by forging a fake FBI business card that identified him as an officer. The guards gave him special treatment, thinking that they were helping the prison pass the inspection with flying colors. Eventually, he walked right out the prison and the guards allowed it, thinking they had fooled Frank. He was on the run for another two months before being rearrested. However, the PR damage was done and the story got out, making Frank an instant sensation for his ingenious escape. I impersonated a prison inspector and walked out the front door of the inspector. <laughs> This is really incredible. Now, what do you, what do, you do now? Have you, have you I, uh, a legitimate type of... Uh... Yes. Number five, nectarines are the key, May 1986. In 1986, Michel Vaujour and his wife used fruits in an elaborate escape plan. Michel's wife Nadine took helicopter lessons prior to the escape. Michel used nectarines that were painted like grenades to force his way onto the roof of the prison. 
From there, his wife picked him up in a helicopter and they landed in a football field. His wife was caught and arrested, and Michelle was shot and survived after a failed robbery attempt. We can't help but wish we had a picture of those realistic-looking nectarine grenades. Michelle may have missed his calling as an artist. Number 4. Three Helicopter Escapes, October 12, 2001 French robber and convicted criminal Pascal Paillet has three successful prison escapes under his belt that have made him internationally renowned. On October 12, 2001, Pascal escaped a French village prison by having his friends collect him from the roof of the prison with a hijacked helicopter. He then returned to the prison via helicopter in 2003 and helped three more prisoners escape. He was only in jail for a short time before he decided to escape again. In July 2007, Pascal arranged for his friends to hijack a helicopter, take the pilot hostage, and force him to fly to Pascal's prison where he was waiting on the roof. While his third escape was successful, he was eventually recaptured in Spain. Number 3. Mexican Drug Lords, January 2001 Joaquin Guzman Loera, also known as El Chapo, is a Mexican drug lord and former leader of the Sinaloa cartel. He has managed to escape from prison twice. His first escape occurred in January 2001. After being arrested on drug charges by the Mexican police, El Chapo bribed guards in his prison to assist him in his escape. He escaped the prison by climbing into a laundry cart and was able to avoid capture for the next 13 years. In 2014, he was rearrested, and a short 17 months later, El Chapo escaped again. This time gaining a lot of media attention, Chapo escaped through a mile-long tunnel built underneath the showers of the maximum security prison. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill tunnel. It had lighting, ventilation, and a modified motorcycle on tracks that was probably used to aid in the construction of the tunnel. He was recaptured again January 2016 and presently remains in jail. Number 2. Bit of a Stretch, September 2012 South Korean Choi Gap Bok was arrested on September 12, 2012 for robbery charges. Choi was a yoga practitioner of 23 years, and on September 17, just five days after his arrest, he squeezed through a food slot that was only 5.9 inches tall and 17.7 inches wide. The entire movement reportedly took 34 seconds. His escape earned him the nickname of the Korean Houdini from journalists, but he was caught just six days later. Number 1. A Woman's Touch, 2012 In 2012, Ronald Silva, a drug trafficker, escaped from a Brazilian prison. When his wife came for her weekly visit, she gave her husband the clothes she was wearing and changed into a spare outfit she had in her purse. Silva then went to great heights to shave his arms and legs, apply fake nails, put on a wig, lipstick, heels, and the outfit that his wife had left him. He was able to walk right past the guards and out onto the street without attracting any attention. However, as he walked towards his friends waiting in a bus stop, a clever cop noticed him struggling to walk in the heels and spotted that something was not quite right. Silva's wife claimed that while she brought him the clothes, she had no idea what he intended to do with them. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.